Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while, so thank you everyone for all your patience. I'm finally done nursing school, which is so exciting, and now I'm studying for the NCLEX, which is the licensing exam for registered nurses here in Canada as well as the United States. So my study schedule is Monday to Friday with flex hours, meaning I no longer set myself a strict schedule of something like eight to four every day. Rather, I start at a reasonable hour during the day and just make sure I get done what I need to. So I could be studying from 10 to two, 11 to three, 12 to four, one to four, etc. I will talk more about this kind of scheduling in a later video and why I started doing this. My studying right now is based off of doing practice questions using UWorld. Because there are so many topics that the NCLEX could randomly choose to test you on, I do a healthy mix of at least 60 questions a day that cover all the different nursing topics. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually show you the content of UWorld, but they do have a demo of their questions on their website if you're a nursing student and you're interested in seeing the type of questions that I'm actually answering. There is a pretty good mix of select all that apply, which we all hate, single answer MC questions, med math, drag and drop, hotspots, and ECGs. Doing 60 questions takes me about 40 to 50 minutes. So these are my results from the 60 question UWorld quiz. And honestly, it's not a bad score compared to the average, especially when you consider that I was tested on a bunch of different nursing topics. I like doing it this way because then I can see where my weak points are and I can focus on doing extra review on that later. After finishing these questions, I review what I got wrong as well as what I got right. This is very important for nursing questions because I wanna see how I approached a question with my nursing judgment and where I got that wrong. If I got an answer right, I want to know whether my approach to the question was the same as the rationale given in the answer, and if not, how I could think differently the next time I come upon a similar question. So I basically go through UWorld and make notes right on UWorld to clarify wrong answers and also to take note of my approach to questions. This takes me probably about 30 to 40 minutes, but it really depends on what was asked on my quiz and the answers that I got. For answers where I'm really just like, what are you even talking about? Or ones where I really just need the extra reinforcement, I will write down the rationales in GoodNotes on my iPad using the Cornell note-taking system. I do have a whole video on this note-taking method and I'll share a link on the screen right now as well as in the description box. This process takes me about 30 minutes, but again, it depends on my performance for each UWorld quiz. Next, I take a little 15 to 20 minute coffee break and I'll start to spice things up with active recall. I'm using Quizlet this time, which is a platform that I've relied on since my pre-nursing days. I'm using their learn mode to get familiar with common lab values. And this is a really great and fun way to do active recall and master your knowledge for things that just require rote memorization. You do get a mix of multiple choice and short answer, which is also a really engaging way to challenge how you recall information, whether it be picking out from options or thinking of the answer on the spot. By the end of it, I would have mastered every lab value and I just repeat this every day or every other day to reinforce it. If you're interested in more helpful resources, Quizlet also offers a lot of premium content for nursing students and nurses, which includes detailed study guides for the NCLEX, CCRN for critical care nurses, ECG for cardiac nurses, as well as the ATITs and HESI, which I believe American pre-nursing students use for entrance exams. The flashcards are really detailed with a lot of info and cover numerous topics, obviously pretty helpful for on-the-go studying if you're on transit, on break at work, in bed, etc. To save 20% on this awesome prep pack as well as the nursing study guides, you can use the code Janus20 at checkout. They also recently published a how to study for the NCLEX blog post as well as a how to create a study guide blog post, both of which might be helpful for those of you who are just starting the NCLEX grind or are feeling a little bit lost as to how to get started. After active recall, I start the next phase of my study session by delving into weak areas based on my quizzes. For this part, I like to use other resources like the Saunders book and flip to the chapters that I need to review. In this case, it's pediatrics and maternity nursing. I do also watch some YouTube videos for extra review, but the Saunders textbook is my go-to for now. So I'm off taking notes on different medical conditions, pharmacology, and nursing actions for areas that I'm weak in, and this will take me about an hour. When I'm done, I just quickly go through all the rationales and notes that I've written down to again reinforce the knowledge that I've gained during this study session. All in all, my flex study sessions last from three to six hours. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button to see more from me. If you'd like to watch more from my channel right now, here are some popular videos that I recommend. 